I knew this day would come. The day I started this channel, I saw this disgusting movie making its way into my life. Thanks to my amazing patrons, one, specifically, Gunnar Vincent's, we are watching Battlefield Earth. If this movie was food, it would be pickled herring. Uh, if it was a person, it would be that dude in college that smelled so bad that everyone around him just assumed he knew he smelled bad and chose to just live that way, so he said nothing. John Travolta referred to this film as Star Wars A New Hope, but better? And the Schindler's List of science fiction movies. I, I wish I was making that up, but I'm not. I could never write something that hilarious. So let's go see why, because this is Red Eye Reviews. <music> Investors sued Franchise Pictures for fraud. Let's start there because they claimed the budget was $75 million, and it was actually only $44 million. So, they were forced to pay $121 million in damages, and they went bankrupt. What a great way to start a movie. The year is 3000. Earth is a wasteland. Cyclos, which are essentially coneheads from SNL, they rule the planet, they force humans to mine for minerals, mainly gold. Why? Uh, they don't tell us. Maybe because it's shiny. Have you? Has anyone here ever seen one? This caveman named Johnny Goodboy decides he has had enough of his life surviving and not being a slave, so he leaves his hot cave girl, meets some other free-spirited cave people. <laughs> What was that? Dude? You sound like a soccer hooligan. We go with the hardest Dutch angle cinema has ever used. No, no, no. The projector is not falling off the table, folks. They chose this style of filmmaking. We all get captured by these guys. Years of horrible inbreeding has forced their heads into these shapes. Just looking like Tutankhamun. And you tell me I'm wrong. Good boy tries to run away. He gets blasted by some random water hose. And uh, we run into John Travolta. Who is responsible for allowing this man animal to run around unsupervised? So we all know that John Travolta thought this movie was the most influential thing of our time. But Forrest Whitaker has gone on to say that this was the biggest regret in his entire career. So there's a little bit of a different opinion there. Shot by man animal as the cause of death unless I see it. But Good Boy gets thrown in prison with the rest of the slaves while Travolta has a meeting with the bosses. <laughs> I'm sent here by the end of quarter cycle. Thank you, your excellency. Oh, hey, Steve. I, I didn't think Seagal was making an appearance in this movie. He didn't show up in the credits, but I mean, I'm looking right at him. Your powers of observation are simply startling. But they tell John that he has to stay here and command the Earth base because uh, he apparently banged some leader's daughter. And this is his punishment. Tell the senator that if I had even an inkling that that was his daughter. The slaves all fight over some food, which looks like that dish your aunt brings to your family potluck and nobody eats it, but she claims it's good for you. Looking at you, Marge. From now on, we eat at the same time. We have enough problems without killing each other over food. Oh yeah. Also, they have to wear these breathing tubes or they die. I don't really understand when they need to wear them because they take them on and off so often. I'm so confused. I guess the Coneheads are allergic to oxygen. The humans are allergic to whatever they breathe. And now we just have these little snot booger things attached to our face. But some drunk pilot crashes into a silo, kills a few people, gives our man a chance to escape.
Travolta sees that good boy is slightly smarter than the other humans, and he decides he wants to start teaching him how to do stuff, just to see if humans can be trained to use mining equipment, which would reduce labor cost and maybe gain him favor with home office. I didn't just pick that place. The aliens actually call it home office. This would go straight to the home office. So they decide to release Good Boy and his friends to study them and learn more of what humans like. That's their favorite food. Man animal prefers its rat uncooked, and our job is that much easier. But they recapture them. They force our man into like a Duolingo class led by this sad Star Wars hologram guy. Excuse me, but I am your instructor. As you are listening to me, I most likely do not exist. I am but a lowly Kinko language slave. But we say screw it. That is taking way too long, so we just beam all the knowledge directly into his head. <laughs> ah, you cut him off right before he learned the dirty words. Oh, I know who they are. I have to learn more about them. <laughs> Sides are equal, and these three angles must also be equal. This symbol is called a triangle. You see? Triangles and shit. If he was stupid, could he know about angles and, you know, polygons? Polywhirl and wrath, even? Meanwhile, we cut back to his cave girl. She is still a stupid idiot. Yeah, she can't even do basic trigonometry. Look, look at that dumb dumb. What if he's not dead? Hope is an admirable quality. No longer a child. Then, for some reason that I cannot figure out his reasoning for, he takes our man to a library where the books look fantastic. A, a thousand years just made him dusty, that's all. Satisfied. Oh man, these are great. What are all these symbols? I, if only I knew how to read, this would be so useful. Travolta decides to take a break by showing off how good of a shot he is. Pretty impressive stuff, pal. Back in the cells, we cut off some of our hair. And that is his business hair, sir, and that's how you know he is serious about what he's doing. He tells the other slaves that he can speak the alien's language now, and they lose their collective minds. Someone in that cage knows how to speak the cyclist's language. We haven't seen a bilingual person in ages. This dude's going to save us all in two languages. So to teach them how to mine, we also need to teach them how to fly our ships. Naturally, right? Those two just go hand in hand. Never underestimate what a little leverage can do. And we pick it up after just two tries. I get their ships are not that complicated, I guess. It's like an Atari up, down, left, right, A, B. But rather than actually mine, we read about Fort Knox in one of those magical books and how it's full of gold. Surely the aliens would have done their research, though, and took all that gold, seeing how they like the stuff so much. Uh, no, they didn't. They did it. It is full of gold. So we will pretend to mine the gold, but in reality, we'll just be taking all these guns and jets from Fort Knox. Mickey, these are flying machines. They are weapons of some kind. Oh, can cavemen fly jets, you might ask? Sure. I don't know. Why not? There's a flight simulator thing here. Somehow that still has power. Let's give it a go. But the plan is to trick all the Coneheads to go inside their safe little dome city, the only place where they don't wear those dangly snot booger breathing tubes, and they're gonna blow that dome. We blow the dome. We blow the dome. Carlos gonna blow the dome. I'm gonna blow the dome. You can blow the dome. Just blow the guys already. Can we get on with it? Thousands of gas drones and troops are gonna be teleported down here. We can't fight against that. We're gonna destroy their home planet before it happens. Okay, well, slow down. Slow down. No, you had me at everyone gets blown. Uh, how are we going to destroy another planet? I'm not sure, but I am sure it's going to make a lot of sense. Good work, Mickey. You just found a panic, say. See? 
We found blueprints to a nuclear weapon. Done. Those things can destroy planets, no problem. Oh, I forgot to mention they caught the girl cave lady. Uh, all that matters is that they put this like jigsaw style explosive collar on her neck. That's it. At some point, Travolta comes to see all the gold they mined. The gold is in bar form, which doesn't concern him at all. He's like, oh, oh it came out of the ground like this. That's amazing. I've always known this was going to be your destiny. So the final assault begins. We free all the slaves. We start shooting the bad guys. John Travolta is so stoked about all his new gold that he takes a joyride in his ship, you know, just to conveniently not be around for the next 15 minutes or so. We set up those bombs to get the dome blown. Now, uh, (laughs) if that isn't the best thing you have ever seen in a movie, what are you doing with your life? He's flying a jet. Also, how do they work after a thousand years? It doesn't matter. They just do. We also lead our suicidal caveman with the nuke to a teleportation pad. Yeah, turns out that's how we're going to get to that other planet. How did we learn how to use it? I could only guess that hooked on phonics hologram tutor really came through for us. Excuse me, but I am your instructor. Okay, we try to blow the dome. It cracks just a little bit. You know, it's never been blown before. It doesn't know how to finish from this position. The dome is broken, Carlo. We can't hold that much longer. The man helps it out by forcing his ship against the dome. And again, it moans and it groans, but no blow, no blow. Then... He's like, what if while I'm halfway inside, I blow the dome? And boom, folks, climax achieved. The aliens all start breathing oxygen and they hate that stuff. Interrupting Cyclone War Center, this is a stage three alert. Meanwhile, we slap the exploding collar on Travolta's arm. He blows his own arm up. He's so stupid. We teleport to the alien planet. Turns out one of our nukes will, in fact, destroy an entire planet. That's some pretty cool shit. Very convenient. We end our movie with Travolta in jail, surrounded by his gold he so loves, and uh, Whitaker said that he had Alien Hooked on Phonics Volume 2, so we keep him around to learn more alien shit. (laughs) And that is it. I will never get that time back. None of us will, but more importantly, I won't. Okay, let's head on over to Red Eye Reacts. A demon! Uh, A monster! A beast! Stop moving so much, you burning man hippies! Act like you've taken a shower before! Responsible for allowing this man animal to run around unsupervised. Man animal? Man animals. 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 Warning. 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 It's freedom for all of us. For our children. Children? That's right. Yeah, uh, we don't have hospitals, so there's a small chance that they'll survive, but yeah, for sure, we'll have kids. Hell, it could even be a friendly bartender! That is it. Thank you, everybody. More specifically, thank you to the patrons who voted for this horrible film. I uh, I watched it. That's the first time I ever watched it. I re- kind of regret it, but I kind of don't. 
If you want the power to slowly drive me crazy like they do, you can head on over to the Patreon page, sign up for the power to do just that. A huge shout out to all of them as always, and that link is down below. If you want to join the Discord, link down below, merch store down below. I will see you all next time, and until then, stay happy and stay healthy. As you are listening to me, I most likely do not exist. I am but a lowly Kinko language slave. <laughs>